Because the Diddy, the Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. Oh, Diddy done turned over tapes. Allegedly, with the Carters, it's some freak out. And the, and, and the, ba- and the Beyonce, how on the cocaine? And the tapes had jizz all over it. Chili, y'all better brace yourselves for this tea, cause Diddy just dropped a bombshell that's got Jaws hitting the floor. Turns out there's a super private, super nasty, and scandalous video floating around featuring none other than Jay-Z and Beyonce getting their freak on at one of Diddy's legendary parties. And let me tell you, this is the wildest thing we've heard all year. So get this, during Homeland Security's raid on Diddy's crib, they stumbled upon some seriously juicy stuff, including compromising videos of your favorite celebs getting down and dirty. And allegedly, Jay-Z and Beyonce are are right there in the mix. Now here's where it gets really spicy. Word on the street is that Diddy allegedly leaked this video to the feds on purpose, all in a twisted plot to get back at the Carters for not having his back during his own legal troubles. And let me tell you, he's not holding back one bit. He's determined to do whatever it takes to humiliate them. Girl, I'm telling you, strap on your seatbelts because this story's about to go from zero to a hundred real quick. Ow, it's it's from Jay-Z just so she don't get implicated. That's crazy. Yup, yup. She's trying to uh, attach herself from Jay-Z's hairstyle because she know that she can get implicated. So if yeah, Jay-Z she gets up over some tapes, they got her in it too. Hey, buckle up, folks, because the drama train just went off the rails with Diddy. And let me tell you, it's wilder than a rodeo on a roller coaster. I mean, yeah, we've been knee deep in this mess since Cassie dropped that lawsuit bomb on Diddy back in November last year. But seriously, things just hit a whole new level of crazy. We all thought it had hit its peak when Homeland Security busted down Diddy's doors in a coordinated raid spree just last week. They tore through his places like a hurricane, and it was crystal clear they were after some serious dirt. Word on the street is the Fed seized a whole bunch of electronics during the raid. Laptops, phones, computers, you name it. And you know what that means, right? They were hunting for something super specific. And let me tell you, when the Feds start raiding with that kind of precision, you better believe they've done their homework. So if they're snatching up Diddy's gadgets, you know they're on the hunt for something big. Like really, really big. After the raid, Diddy's lawyers came out to slam the Feds and claim that they were just piling on Diddy and trying to cause drama for Diddy and ruin his public image. His lawyer said, this unprecedented ambush, paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. A federal officer replied to this and said, We believe that there is a disturbing history of sex trafficking. We are responding to concrete, detailed, explicit allegations allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat. We had allegations that we're following up on. Now we're knee deep in a classic he said, she said situation. And trust me, it's a whirlwind. We thought the raid was going to be the messiest chapter of this saga, but hold on to your hats, folks, because the feds just dropped a bombshell that's going to make your jaw hit the floor even harder than before. So get this, fresh off the press from the feds, while they were sifting through Diddy's seized gadgets, they stumbled upon some pretty interesting and scandalous tapes, if you catch my drift. Now let's be real, we all had a hunch the feds would uncover some tapes on Diddy's electronics. I mean, with all the allegations flying around from folks who sued him, claiming Diddy had been recording them during some shady dealings, it wasn't exactly a shocker. In Cassie's lawsuit, she laid it all out, alleging that Diddy would frequently hit record whenever he, well, you know, did his thing. She also dropped bombs, claiming he'd coerce her into hiring male escorts, push drugs her way, and then make her get up close and personal with said escorts, while he watched and filmed the whole ordeal. In the court documents, Cassie said, Mr. Combs would use his phone, laptop, and tablet to film Ms. Ventura, having with the hired ex-worker. He treated the forced encounter as a personal art project, adjusting the candles he used for lighting to frame the videos he took. But hold on, because there's more to come. Cassie went on to claim that even though she often managed to delete the videos that Diddy took of her, he would always recover them and brag about how he had many more copies of the videos, and that the videos would always be with him no matter how much she tried to delete them. The court documents said, while Ms. Ventura quickly deleted any photographs or video of 
sex acts if they were taken on her phone, Mr. Combs repeatedly made clear that he retained many videos of Ms. Ventura during FOs. Even when she deleted the videos, Mr. Combs would tell Ms. Ventura that he was able to recover deleted videos from her devices. On one occasion, he sat next to her on a flight and made her watch a video she thought she had deleted, reinforcing her inability to escape and the immense power he held over her. Interestingly, Lil Rod, who sued Diddy last month, also claimed that Diddy loved to record himself doing some illegal activities. According to the court documents, Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to record him constantly. On several occasions, Mr. Combs took Mr. Jones's cell phone and began recording himself. As a result, Mr. Jones has secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Mr. Combs, his staff, and his guests engaging in serious illegal activity. Girl, what's up with Diddy and his obsession with filming himself in these alleged shady scenarios? It's like he's practically begging to get busted and exposed, cause it just doesn't add up. Feels like he's leaving breadcrumbs for the authorities to track him down with or something. It's low-key mind-boggling. And hold on to your seats, cause Lil Rod spilled some more tea, claiming Diddy's got hours of incriminating footage featuring your favorite celebs. He went as far as alleging that Diddy had sneaky cameras set up in every nook and cranny of his crib, even in the bathrooms. So if you ever dropped by Diddy's pad and took a bathroom break, you better believe he's got footage of you going number two. Chili, and we thought that the government watching us was all we had to worry about. Talk about next level surveillance, huh? Lil Rod's court documents said, while living and traveling with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones discovered that Mr. Combs has hidden cameras in every room of his homes. Mr. Jones believes that Mr. Combs has recordings of celebrities, music label executives, politicians, and athletes. It also went on to say that the celebs in question didn't know that they were being recorded because Diddy didn't exactly present them with a consent form when they got into his house. Rod went on to say, upon information and belief, due to this treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that he is above the law and is untouchable. Anywho, like I said, we all kind of saw it coming that the cops might stumble upon some pretty incriminating footage on Diddy's gadgets. I mean, he straight up told Cassie he had multiple copies of those videos, so it was pretty much a given that something sketchy was lurking in his electronics. But what none of us could have ever predicted in a million years was stumbling upon videos featuring Beyonce and Jay-Z. And when I say videos, I ain't talking about clips of them doing their superstar thing on stage, being the ultimate power couple and ruling the entertainment world. Nah, I'm talking about the other kind of videos, alleged footage of Jay-Z and Beyonce getting down and dirty, doing the deed, you know what I mean. Girl, let me tell you, I was shook to my core when this news hit the internet. I mean, the Carters having a steamy rendezvous while being filmed by Diddy? It's like something straight out of a Hollywood thriller. And trust me, I've heard my fair share of wild celebrity tales. Now, I know it sounds too insane to be true, but Jaguar Wright confirmed the scoop, stating that these videos were beyond scandalous. She even threw in that Diddy supposedly handed over even more tapes to the feds willingly, probably in a desperate bid to save his own skin. Because the Diddy, the Diddy, 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 oh, Diddy done turned over tapes, allegedly with the Carters in some freak out. And the and and the ba and the Beyonce high on the cocaine and the tapes had jizz all over it. Hold on. Man, the whole Beyonce caught in the act situation is straight up bananas, but like Rod mentioned, Diddy probably held onto those videos as some sort of insurance policy, you know, like an umbrella for a stormy day. And with everything hitting the fan for Diddy lately, you can bet it's been raining cats and dogs, which might explain why he allegedly leaked those tapes. It could have been a move to show the feds that he's got even more scandalous evidence stashed away somewhere they wouldn't think to look. Because let's face it, Diddy's no rookie when it comes to playing the game. Now, if you're wondering why Diddy would throw his B FF Jay Z under the bus. Well, it's all part of a bigger chess game. By handing over videos featuring A listers like Beyonce and Jay Z, Diddy's essentially dangling bait in front of the feds, knowing full well it'll reel them in for more investigations and potentially nab some bigger fish than himself. And in return, they might cut him some slack. It's like a classic case of you scratch my back, I scratch yours between Diddy and the feds. But according to Jaguar Wright's alleged insider scoop, Diddy's playing a double edged sword here. While he's maneuvering to get himself out of hot water, he's also also aiming to settle some scores with Jay-Z. Apparently, Diddy's been nursing some serious bitterness over how Jay-Z seemingly ditched him when the lawsuit started rolling in. I mean, these two have been tight for ages, so naturally, Diddy assumed Jay-Z would have his back, or at least pull a few strings to help him out. But not only did Jay-Z fail to do that, rumor has it he was one of the big names lobbying to keep Diddy off the Grammy guest list this year. Talk about a betrayal in the highest ranks of Hollywood. At the time,
time, news outlets reported that several Academy officials are pushing to remove the billionaire superstar from the Grammy guest list. The formal invitations go out this month. There's conflict at the Academy as several voting members do not think it would be appropriate to invite Diddy. Some, including several high-profile African-American members, fear that inviting him sends the wrong message to audiences and the charities it supports. Several publicists have asked that their artists aren't seated by him. It's a logistical nightmare. And here's where it gets even juicier. Not only did Jay-Z steer clear of Diddy like he was dodging landmines, but he made sure to avoid any chance encounters with him, whether it was at the Grammys or any other industry shindig. I mean, there's talk circulating that Jay-Z even axed his legendary Rock Nation brunch this year because he didn't want to extend an invite to Diddy. And trust me, that's a big deal, because Diddy was practically a permanent fixture at those bashes. Now, if Jay-Z skipped inviting Diddy, it would have set tongues wagging about him being a sellout, with folks speculating he had skeletons of his own to hide by steering clear of Diddy. But on the flip side, if he did invite Diddy, he'd catch major flack for cozying up to someone accused of some pretty serious stuff. Talk about being between a rock and a hard place. So in the end, he decided to nix the whole brunch gig altogether, for the first time in over 15 years, mind you. And let me tell you, that move lit a fire under Diddy's behind. It was like adding fuel to the flames of his fury, and he wasn't about to take it lying down. So what does he do? Allegedly, he decides to hit back by offering up that infamous tape featuring Jay-Z and Beyonce to the feds. Now, out of all the incriminating footage he's got stashed away, why'd he choose to lead with that one? Something about that just doesn't quite add up, does it? But hold on to your hats, because the plot thickens even more. Jaguar Wright dropped a bombshell a few months back, hinting that there might have been some hush-hush dealings between Diddy and Jay-Z, if you catch my drift. Yep, you heard that right. Seems like there's a whole nother layer to this scandalous saga. You know, camaraderie with honeycombs and um, AKA Diddler, I mean Diddy. And- um, Why do you give him the honeycombs? Why, why do you give him honeycombs? Cause he smacks so sweet. That side of my, <laughs> anyway. Um, 50 Cent also shared a video of him on stage with Diddy and Jay-Z, capturing the moment Diddy playfully slapped Jay-Z's butt. What's he gonna do, what's he gonna do for him, Jay? I wanna take him back a little bit, fuck. What's here, my Put you your Rockefeller shirt on the fucking city. Girl, tell me about it. It's like we've been watching a soap opera unfold right before our very eyes, but we were too caught up in the glitz and glam to see the real drama brewing beneath the surface. Makes you wonder what else these celebs have been up to behind closed doors and how many other secrets they've been sweeping under the rug all these years. And you know what? It kind of makes sense why there've been whispers floating around for ages about Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage hitting some rocky shores. Rumor has it, bay has been keeping a close watch on the situation, biding her time, waiting for the perfect moment to make her exit without taking too big a hit from the fallout. Catch herself from Jay-Z just so she don't get implicated. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to uh, attach herself from Jay-Z's hairstyle because she know that she can get implicated. So if yeah, she gets up over some tapes, they got her in it too. But hold up, cause Jaguar's not letting Beyonce off the hook that easy. She went in hard, calling Beyonce out for being more than willing to stick around when things were all sunshine and rainbows with Jay-Z. But now that the chips are down, she's ready to bounce. Ouch. No, you was down with the devil. Ride with that to the end, that's your man. Stand by your man. You wanna sing a mother country song? Sing that Stand by your man. You was, you was willing to stand by him before stand by him now. And you know what's wild? This whole mess lines up perfectly with the tea blogger Storm Monroe spilled back in January. Remember that? He dropped some major bombs about Beyonce and Jay-Z already being separated for a minute and Bay making moves on the down low to call it quits and walk away from the marriage. It's like all the puzzle pieces are finally falling into place. What I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they living separate. And part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories that Jay-Z can, you know, he can pay off or he can block. He won't be able to stop this. And she knows it and he knows it too. Um, as far as who's gonna be the breakout victim slash story, I, I, don't, I don't know. 
Y'all might have to ask Jason Lee. I don't know. But I'm just letting you know that once that comes out and Jay-Z is exposed for his nefarious past, you're going to see Beyonce divorce him. Okay? And she's going to, she may or may not do an interview, but you may, you, you're going to, um, their publicist is going to release something. She's going to say, oh, the Carters have been separated for some time. They built this beautiful life, blah, blah, blah. Back then, fans were all aboard the Beyonce, leaving the marriage train. Because let's face it, the Bayhive had been rallying for her to break free for ages. People had this whole image of Jay-Z being this domineering figure in Beyonce's life, and they believed she was trapped in a cycle of control and manipulation, even though there wasn't much hard evidence evidence to back it up. But then, things took an even crazier turn when Storm Monroe dropped that bombshell, suggesting that Jay-Z's day of reckoning was fast approaching. He claimed Jay-Z was about to get the full Diddy treatment, and the exposure was going to be on a whole other level compared to what Diddy went through. So picture this, we're not just talking your run-of-the-mill gossip about Jay-Z meddling in other people's careers or whatever. Nah, we're diving into some next-level stuff here. Think bombs that could shake the whole industry, secrets as heavy as what Diddy's been keeping locked up. And when Cassie's lawsuit came crashing onto the scene, Jaguar wasted no time dropping the bomb that Jay-Z was next in line for the spotlight. Rumor had it that there were some big plans in the works to peel back the layers of his allegedly shady dealings. Sean Carter is worse. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. Well, buckle up, because according to reports, Beyonce's not just making a break for it because Jay-Z's facing the music. She's allegedly got her own skeletons to keep locked away. Word on the street is Bay's got a few tricks up her sleeve, and she's playing defense to protect herself. Fans have been connecting the dots, trying to piece together Beyonce's shady side. And let me tell you, there are more than a few eyebrow-raising moments to consider. Take, for instance, when her former drummer came out with some seriously disturbing accusations against her. That whole situation sent Shockwave through the fandom, but then, just like that, Beyoncé went radio silent, leaving everyone wondering what the heck could have gone down behind closed doors or what she might be keeping under wraps. According to the drummer, whose name is Kimberly Thompson, Beyoncé allegedly dabbles in the occult. She spoke to the Daily Beast, and the interviewer said she claims that for some reason, Bay has started a campaign of harassment against her that includes extreme witchcraft, dark magic, and magic spells of molestation. She also claims the Lemonade star murdered her kitten. Thompson believes Beyonce has been tapping her phones and controlling her finances. It's unclear why Thompson believes the singer is allegedly doing all this to her, but she is adamant it all stems from Bay. Kimberly also went live on Instagram to speak on Beyonce. The entire time, this person was casting spells and manipulating me and controlling my job situations, my relationships, all just a uh, uh, a very wicked uh, tactic to just keep me down and keep me under some type of control. Um. Man, talk about drama. This whole situation has been a roller coaster ride, and some fans couldn't shake the feeling that something just wasn't adding up. When Kimberly first came forward with her claims, a lot of folks brushed it off as attention seeking behavior, thinking she was just using Beyonce's name to grab some headlines. But when she took things up a notch and slapped Queen Bey with a restraining order, well, that definitely raised some eyebrows. But hold on to your hats, because here's where it gets really interesting. According to fan theories, there's a whole other layer to this story, and Beyonce's been playing the game long term. You know how Jay-Z's been stepping out on her for ages? Yeah, people have been calling her out for seemingly putting up with it, but word on the street is that she's not just sitting back and taking it anymore. Nope, behind the scenes, she's been cooking up some schemes of her own. Remember all that talk about how Jay-Z and Beyonce patched things up after his cheating scandal? Well, buckle up, because it seems like there's more to that story than what they've been selling us. Looks like we're in for one heck of a revelation. You know, for us, we chose to fight for our love for our family to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, uh, you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying, it's not this celebrity couple. We, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. That's beautiful. Like, like real people. Yeah. 
Um. <laughs> but hold on to your seats, because fans are adamant that there's more to this tale than meets the eye. They're convinced that family therapy wasn't the only magic potion saving their marriage. Nope, there's a whole other layer to this mess, and trust me, it's reaching scandalous heights. Here's the scoop. There's been a flurry of anonymous gossip swirling around, alleging that Beyonce's been taking matters into her own hands when it comes to dealing with Jay-Z's side pieces, if you know what I mean. Rumor has it she's gone to extreme lengths to make their lives a living hell. And here's the kicker. Whispers are circulating about Beyonce allegedly having a hand in Te'aira Marie's career taking a nosedive. Now, back in the day, everyone knew Jay-Z had a soft spot for Te'aira, but we chalked it up to her undeniable talent. Let's talk about some of the artists. Um, Tiara Marie. Yeah. Okay, and she's the first lady of the rock. She's the princess. The but here's where things get even spicier. Reports suggest there's more to Tayira's story than meets the eye. Word on the street is she wasn't just linked to Jay-Z. Allegedly, she was playing the field with a few other guys too, despite not being of legal age at the time. As I have told you before, Aaliyah was SA'd as a minor by several producers and was treated like a piece of meat to be bought and sold by different producers up until the time that she passed away. A couple of years after she passed away, a fairly large record producer started making some calls about a singer he had working out of his studio. She was 15 and eager, and soon, different label heads were scouting her. And this is allegedly Tierra Marie. Soon, she was sold to this pseudo corn star and celebrity sibling. You can also take a guess at that one. He loves controlling vulnerable women. It is his specialty. Anyway, he started controlling the career of this singer. He brought her to the attention of this A-plus list rapper and mogul allegedly Jay-Z. And then there's this viral blind item that set tongues wagging, claiming Beyonce got wind of the affair and demanded Jay-Z cut ties with Tiaira. But apparently that wasn't enough for Queen Bey. Allegedly, she took it up a notch and decided to put a wrench in Tiaira's career as well. Now that's what I call taking matters into your own hands. By the time all of the ink was dry, she was just shy of being legal. But that didn't stop the mogul. He liked to sample the new talent. He was sampling her on a fairly regular basis, but he was also involved with the current a plus list singer who was in his face every day. And this could allegedly be Beyonce. Thing is though, that corn star in charge of her career was feuding with the mogul and told the mogul he would not be allowed to hook up with the singer again. I assume he thought the mogul would think she was something special. Apparently not as special as the current a plus lister because the new signee was dropped and the word was put out on the street. No record deals for her from any label. When someone ignored the edict, they were paid a visit. If the visits were ignored, then other steps were taken. This was a total lockdown of a career that lasted almost a decade. Adding to the intrigue, L.A. Reid, the big shot music exec overseeing Tiara and Rihanna at the time, once let slip that Beyonce nudged him toward Rihanna instead of Tiara. Seems like there's more to this story than what initially meets the eye. We had a showcase, and at the showcase there were two artists performing. Her name is Tierra Marie and she's a really sweet girl. And the truth is I was paying a little more attention to her than I was to Rihanna. After the showcase, you know, Beyonce just gave me one of those looks and he said, that Rihanna girl, she's a beast. And she looked away, right? And I was like, so I did a Rihanna double take. And now, with the heat cranking up, word on the street is Beyonce's taking a bow and exiting the marriage. Rumor has it divorce papers are allegedly being filed already because Beyonce allegedly has zero intention of going down with Jay-Z. When the freak off videos eventually hit the internet and she suspects that they will, she plans to play the victim so people feel sorry for her and put all the blame on Jay-Z, not her. Chili being together for more than 20 years and at the slightest hint of trouble, she's dumping him. Fans left comments saying, I always knew this man was up to no good like most celebrities actually are. Makes R. Kelly look small time. People are going missing on this and not coming back. And anyone seen partying with Diddy knew what was up. He said Jay-Z is the only person who can call him by his government name, which says a whole lot. Beyonce is not innocent either. Girl, this situation is one hot stanking mess. But y'all let me know how you feel about this new tea, then check out this next video.